If you enjoy this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. So here I am grocery shopping. I have some celery, some snack packs, some hummus. I love the spicy hummus. I've also been using my groceries to make these loaded salads. This is chickpeas and different vegetables. And then here are some roasted vegetables. These are like my go-to. Before leaving, I also went to my very first Indian restaurant with my grandmother to celebrate my birthday. There was so much food and I had such a great time. After she took me shopping to see if we could get some bikinis or some different outfits for my trip, we really didn't find anything, but I later went back and found this cute set from Aerie. Laura shopping. Here I am with my sister. She loves this great place. This is like our second time this week here. I went to the place next door and got a juice. I also really needed to do something to my hair, so I decided I would try to do braids on myself. Okay, so here's the finished product. I think my hair was completely done at this point. I'm in Target looking for swimsuits. Hey girl. But today I'm gonna be, today, tonight, it is like, you know what time it is? It was like Yeah, like probably close to nine. It's very close to 9 p.m. where I am here in Maryland and I am finally with help of my sister packing and it's. So I eventually got it together. Here's what I'm bringing. And we're off on our way to the airport. Side note, a lot of these cute outfits feel amazing, make my body look amazing, and they're from Amazon. I'll link them below and in the blog post. Those movies where this is a photo shoot actually. Photo shoot opportunity right here with like all the fake flowers and stuff. I like it. It's, you see the flag. You see that question? The yellow is for the sun, the blue is for the sea. perform these functions, please contact us. Mahalo. Luckily I got it together. I don't know what was going on then. More public health. I also just thought it looked really cool. After the airport, we headed to our Airbnb, which was on the 25th floor. Oh my gosh. It was so nice though. I also went to the convenience store at least twice a day while in Hawaii. Our first day, we just went to a restaurant, ate, got in the bed after a shower, and just kind of relaxed because we were tired, y'all. Here I am, though, the next day waking up, super excited and full of energy, ready to go. We actually took the stairs a lot because the elevator went to the 25th floor. It was getting work done and was oh making God, weird noises. Which is fine because we picked up a few items from that convenience store. 
mostly nonsense, but you know. Alcohol to get me through the day. Get you through the day? What do you mean? I'm sorry, I use plain English sometimes, you don't understand. Alcohol to get me through the day. <laughs> Hi y'all, we just came from the store. Got us some alcohol to get me through the day. Stop saying that! <laughs> So I took a solo trip up the elevator to put the stuff up. Then we headed out to get the bikes, which was really cool. Here are some photos and videos of different things we saw on the way. It was actually St. Patty's Day, so we ended up being a part of a parade. People were cheering us on and high-fiving us. It was pretty cool, but also uh, made it a little harder to bike, like just lots of things going on. So we made it to Diamond Head, but we still had to walk a bit to get there. Lots of public health moments. So you have a section here where you can work out. Um, on the airport, I showed you guys that lactation center. I've also seen, well, we biked here. That was from Blue Cross Blue Shield. Um, but anyone interested in public health, um, leave a comment below. Let me know because there's just so many opportunities to make a difference in that industry. I know that I've before worked at a Department of, Department of Parks and Recreation, and this is probably um, a spot that like Parks and Recreation created. So. So we're walking into Diamond Head now. Like we're actually entering Diamond Head. Like I said, we kind of got to the area, but there's like this long entrance and then there's this visitor center. You have to get tickets and then you're there. Once you reach the top, there's this really cool bunker that we ended up crawling into and checking out. I'm not going to spoil it for you, but definitely check it out. Uh, here I am again in the bunker. I won't tell you exactly how to get there, but it is at the top. And there's more than one way to get there. I'll say that. The Diamond Head hike is absolutely gorgeous. It's a wonderful workout and definitely quite the adventure. Guys, I'm terrified of the dark. This sometimes like this isn't bad, but this is like perfect for a haunted house. little ABC stores a lot. Some of my favorite things to get from there in 7-Eleven were these melon drinks, which were not healthy by the way. I also loved Teddy's. Uh, we ended the night at the pool and the jacuzzi, which was so romantic and relaxing. And I have to show you guys the view the next morning. I loved our Airbnb, especially for the view. Oh, it's my birthday today in Hawaii. So we went to the convenience store, headed back to the spot, and then took the stairs, 25 stairs up. This is my first time doing this split. He's done this a couple times since we've been here. I mostly just went down the stairs, which as you can see was a breeze in comparison. So we're on our way to get some spa treatments. Aloha Massage Spa is where we got our couple spa experience at. Sorry, kind of a tongue twister. The place is amazing. We met the owner. She's super sweet. And you guys should definitely visit there if you take a trip to Hawaii. We did so many amazing things during my birthday trip to Hawaii, but this is easily, definitely part of the top two or three for sure.
the room definitely set the vibe and then when they began the massage it was a 60 minute massage oh my goodness it was so relaxing like i think i fell asleep a few times to be honest Couples massages are romantic and just such a great experience for everyone. After our massages, we headed to Fresh Catch, which you guys have probably seen on TikTok. So good. We just stopped by Fresh Catch. Um, I will say most of the menus raw. Okay. Um, so uh, I got the ginger ahi, and I asked for the smallest amount because we also, I'll show you guys, we also ordered pastel which is a from what i understand a puerto rican dish which i was interested in because they compared it to like gumbo and i'm my mom's side is southern and i love gumbo um but we also got this ginger ahi Why are you laughing? which i definitely think has cilantro in it i love cilantro it tastes so fresh and so good we also did get that from the spa talking about national park passport books or something so that was a fail um and we're back I told her you can't get a passport stamp from a united states state you can i just have to go to the post office they said so that's fake news false information we went to pearl harbor what happened they told us we need to go to a post office for a passport stamp. Well, we get jobs. Yeah, if we have time. Tomorrow we're going to hit the North Shore. Right now we're going up to the apartment. Well, not really apartment, but the condo. Uh, same thing. I don't know. The place, back you up to the place. You know the real estate. Entrepreneur. Thank you, baby. Ooh. So we're going back up, and I think we're going to probably shower and just relax a bit. We have a dinner reservation and jacuzzi plans. That's right. Bye, y'all. Teddy's Bigger Burger was amazing. I literally missed my dinner reservations not once, but twice because I just had to have these burgers again. Basically, I had a dinner reservation on my birthday. We moved it to the next day, but then we went back to Teddy's. Hey, y'all. We back. Aloha. So it's not over yet. Nope, it's not. The Lord. <laughs> we spent the night relaxing in the jacuzzi. It was so romantic. It's the next day and we're continuing my birthday celebrations with some uh, paddleboard yoga. Okay, so we just got back from paddleboard yoga and it was literally, I wanna say the best experience I've had so far. I mean, I need to think about that before I just open my mouth, but 
I'm on cloud a thousand, okay? Like, it was just so amazing. It was a decent workout. Um, there was no pressure or anything. I felt very relaxed. There were so many poses that also, he doesn't care that we're filming. There were just so many poses that were, uh, how do I say this? Um, like spa-like. Like Like there was a pose where we put our head in the water and you could just feel the water. There were times where you were just putting your hands in there. Like the awareness was there. There were, op you know, there were uh, moments to have like kind of like a uh, meditation. Is this it, baby? Oh. Um, there were also moments where like uh, the meditation was just, uh, gosh, I lost my train of thought. Was, um, shoot. Oh, mindfulness. Like just feeling the water, feeling the wind. Um, it was just really, really great. And I think even really great for beginners or people who have been doing yoga for a while. There were photo opportunities. We saw someone get rescued. <laughs> Sweets, is there anything you wanna say or you don't wanna? No, he loved it. <laughs> Not really, but I'm so glad he came to support and do it with me. So now we're off. I think we're gonna head to the North Shore. We got so much food during this trip. So after yoga, we actually headed to the local mall first to get something to eat. We had so many leftovers. I mean, I just didn't know what I wanted and ordered so many different things to try. It was fun and everything was super delicious. That mall was just amazing. Like they had every store you could think of, like in every single price range. Like I think there were like four floors, it was really wide. It was like both indoors and outdoors. It was just amazing. I definitely want to come back to Hawaii. I feel like there's so much to do having an amazing time. Outfit change. So we're just headed out for a nice, a nice scenic drive, which should be pretty cool. So the scenic drive he took us on actually led us to this uh, state park that was absolutely gorgeous. I'll definitely include details of what the name of it was um, in the blog and maybe even in the description. So check that out. After the state park, big girls gotta eat. So of course we headed back to Teddy's. This was one of our last nights in Hawaii, so I had to have Teddy's again. Yeah, it's been an amazing trip, um, and I'm just excited to get back and be able to share these videos and things. Our last day was a Sunday, so we actually encountered this church, which was pretty cool. So we just spent our time walking around this neighborhood and just enjoying nature. Hawaii was the most amazing birthday trip, and I cannot wait to come back. There's so much to do. If you enjoyed this vlog, please like and subscribe, and definitely check out the blog post for details on my outfit and the locations that we went to while in Hawaii.